In this video, we bulldoze our way through the enemy team by sending tanks to the Shadow Realm with the infamous 163mm Besh. An M18. Okay. I really... I kind of wanted to get up here and like... Dig a hole in this corner. It's a big gun. The other thing as well is... I think you can just bend my turret straight up. It's getting cocky. Creating a weird terrain overlap in front of me, but... I guess it's kind of going to work. I'm also getting a pile of bodies really to help me here too. To get my ERA. I doubt this man's going to re-peak me anymore. Literally created a hole. For me and my floating bicycle. My hope was that someone would come up here and not know I was here, right? This is a significantly deep crevasse I've just created for myself. <laughs> He's very keen on my T-44. Or there's two here. I think I've created a problem for my teammates. It's a jumbo. What up, Jumborino? Right, and the other guy's now dead as well. Bulldog. And he had a friend behind him as well. Oh, I see his in. See you later, dude. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing the Centurion Mark V. And the obvious reason for it is Gaijin added dozer mechanics so you can dig holes. Um, but I've really, other than the intro, found an opportunity where it's actually viable. What well, it takes too long and two, it doesn't really make you that much more survivable really. Uh, the turret on this thing is still pretty weak. No doubt on top tier tanks uh, it'll be more viable but by the time you've dug a hole somewhere Someone might not even turn up. Now with Operation Groundbreaking, this thing was advertised as being able to build those the terrain around the place. It was a little bit more effective, I think, in the dev server. Not so much useful on the live, but it doesn't make a difference to this thing. It's still so much fun to play. And the thing that makes it fun to play is, of course, it's cannon. Long reload at 21 seconds, but there's a big reason for that. Huge, actually. A 165mm demolition charge projector. It, this basically fires a dustbin full of squishy explosives that stick to the side of the enemy tank, then detonate, send in fragments and... Listen, there's no way this is sending fragments inside tanks. This is literally sending the tank inside the tank. It's turning it inside out. It's so much explosive mass. Look at this guy. That is 15.87 kilograms of explosive mass which is equivalent to 20 kilograms you're literally firing your mum's left leg across the battlefield it is massive there's a your mum's fat joke in there somewhere i'm sure you'll figure it out now like in the intro i tried to find ways to make the digging tool useful but really i think in war thunder your mobility is paramount over anything else no one pushes you in this thing the greatest thing this vehicle has is terror if they see this thing around the corner, the enemy will absolutely not push you because they'll just be deleted to death. That's just how it is. That much explosive mass versus any tank, as long as you hit the sweet spot, is going to kill it. Dead. With one shot. This thing is a lot of fun to play. Let's get into some games. Right, building Chernobyl. We're at a fill up here. Uh, Italy, Russia, Germany. It's not good. Not good at all. I don't, there's not very many places we can dig here either, and lots of places we can get flanked. don't actually know where we can set up. The other thing about this map, and this particular tank, is uh, fences. Someone's on sea already. Italian, likely. I think I just press through here. Ah, like, I get to maps that like, I don't enjoy, and I just kind of like W hold. And then, generally, that's when we get the best footage for having fun in. Unfortunately. There's probably something on my right side too. I really shouldn't push up here without cover from the right, but... Also memes, you know. It's an RU. 
I can't even shoot him really because I'll just hit this fence and then I'll, hit, I'll be at a long reload. D44. Is that a weasel? It was. It was a weasel. I think this RU is getting shot. But at the same time, I really want to help this teammate out, right? Oh, he's dead. Wait, where's this big old... What was that? ADGM? Where did it come from? A Marduk? So much dust. Right, we're getting the cat. Now, did I dig a hole here? Maybe I will. He needs help repairing. I'm coming in, I'm coming. Something's on my right again. Oh my god, we're gonna get arty, dude. There's somebody there. What is that high pitched squeal sound coming from that SDRV? What do you mean attention to the map? A BT5 just killed my teammate. Oh my god. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. <laughs> what? What is happening over this side? Exactly. Oh, they got him, they got him. There's an object 120. I think that's what I saw earlier. Flanking them? Oh my god, dude. This artillery's driving me bonkers with your IS-3. I couldn't hear a damn thing. He... Oh my goodness, he was really far. Oh, that went through. He went through my scoop, my ERA, and my upper front plate. Where's my planes? Well, the barrel's out in the IS-3. Uh, because I just saw his X-ray cam through another player. Right, okay, we'll, we'll go back in. Wait, all my teammates are dead on this corner. Right, those guys are dead. Thank you, T18. That is a very dead truck. There's a mouse here. Right, we are. Change of plan. There's only one place I can kill a mouse, and it's hitting his turret cheek, so the explosion goes underneath. And I really don't want to get hit with a 128. <laughs> Definitely not. An ASU 85 just killed my teammate as well. And that IS3 is still alive somewhere, too. Bad news. I'm for a bad person. Me. What is that? Oh god. What is that? Is it two vehicles side by side? He knows I'm chasing him now. Which is not great. Is he trying to bait me out? I'm gonna ring a rosy. As long as I don't get spotted by this mouse on this side. Yeah. yeah I'm, not, I'm uncomfortable that I'm alone. So it's not, I'm okay here, right? Everything's fine. Attention to the zone. But if someone comes up behind me, I'm dead. I was hoping this light tank was going to come and help me, but it's not looking good. We can see his track, he can see mine. He just got shot, right? Now, is he gonna push me because he knows he's gonna die now? Yeah. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Is that the mouse coming back this way? I think it is. That was a good bit of teamwork there. Attention to the map. Oh, yeah. 
I'm about to hit my bad shot. He's going to try and hit me through this. I'm going to go this way. Hit it. Tried to shoot me through the wall. That, that mouse is going to be a problem. I'm sure I heard a BMP. Specifically a BMP. I really need to decap C. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Right, tell me. Tell me there's nothing to my left. There's something to my left. And it's a T54 or a T44? E44. Get. He dead. And now we move. I know there's not another thing to my left. I really need to decap this. Now, I've got a teammate in a light tank, AML, moving up behind the mouse. Oh. That Yak 3 might be a problem. We're getting B back. YOLO charging this mouse to help my little AML. The, my issue, I can't kill him from behind, right? I, oh, he's looking at me. Yes, we can get him from behind. I went through the engine compartment. We're losing B again? Oh my god, dude. I just want to dig a hole. Come and get this cap, dude. Come and get this cap. I'll go. I'll come. I've got no more spawns anyway. She's all yours. I'm gonna go help B. Another mouse. Oh, it's the... Eh... Uh, Iron Armenians decal. Oh, it's, this guy's trying to strafe me. Right, we're getting B and C now. Good load. No, the AML. Okay, at least that guy's dead, right? We we did really well here, I think. <laughs> we did really well. I'm sadder than my planes, but we had a good bit of teamwork and stuff going on. Never a bad thing. Makes me happy anyway. There we go. If we can get one more before the game ends, I don't think so, because we've got all the caps now, right? I really enjoy this thing as bad as it is. Well, it's not bad, it's kind of out of the meta, right? And this, this will fill up here. It did well. What is this? ZSU 57 2? Oh, someone's on B still. Is that Google Blitz? Anyway, that's going to be game, right? Are we going to be done? Yes. GG. There we go. Right, cargo port and a fill up tier. This map is going to be really bad for the AVRA just because reload. And there's so many like fences and uh, walls that are destructible to normal cannons, but uh, not to machine gun. Which means that we can't shoot people through cover, right? Um, those concrete walls uh, round about this area in specific and there's quite a lot of them too um solid metal walls i mean if you've got solid shot or APHE, the other thing as well is i think most of the player base now have figured out the um medium tanks and stuff heavy tanks are all crap and you're much better off just being in something fast with a good reload and this is where this tank does not do very well in any of those regards who will win 163 millimeter besh or ends. Somebody's on here with me. I can run this building over if he's behind it. No, we can't. I would really like to know where my shell went there. Because it didn't hit that guy, that's for sure. Got an auto loader, they just do it. Mm. Is that why that thing is 7 7 now and not AO? We should repair pretty quickly once 
We take this. Yeah, right. Yeah, that'll do. Is that my commander that's wounded? Oh, it's my loader. King Tiger coming. Okay, he yeah, on delete. Wonder if that 906 was shooting me with heat. Big game, by the way. Big game. I absolutely hear something else. Oh yeah, another King Tiger. And then whatever that is. I don't have a shot on him. He's kind of watching me, whatever that is. Is that a Hong Fong? No. It's safe, King Tiger. He's already 400, that's scary. But 103 is like. What's that artillery? What was that? Was that. That Kong didn't die near me, did he? I really want to hit this tiger on the roof. Okay, he's fired, but he's moving back now. He's to my right, yeah. His fence is in the way. I wanted to make sure I'd get the kill on him. More smoke, please. I want to get back to this cat. You good, dude? This building's kept me safe for a good while. It's now my best friend. I'm worried about someone coming this way, though, because no one is on that side. Except coming from our spawn point. Preemptively knock those fences down. I think I hear someone coming too. Well, that Artie's dropping. Oh yeah, that's a KB2. And a Panther. Yep, no one's watching that road dude at all. Are they, my team getting hammered over there? There's no way they're losing that, right? Here they are. Oh, is there really someone there though? There probably is. They'll be crawling all over here. He wasn't dead yet. Wait, the KB2 is dead, but the Panther's still alive. Yeah, Panther, did just kill it? That's not good. That's a T-54. Luckily, he's getting shot right now. He's, is he going to move in? He's reversing. Right, the panther I just hit as well with the splash. We gotta reload. And there might be someone down the road to my right as well. Attention to the map. Literally got into the unknown. And there's an enemy plane here too, is there? Was unfortunate. I need to get out of here right now. Come on, in my way, wreckages. You think with a big dozer blade on this thing, you'd be easily shoving things out of the way, right? Did that guy try and bomb me? Someone moving towards the beaker. No. There's an anti here. That's not good. Good. It's the shot we were looking for. 
Right, that 103's got that streak covered for now. I don't want to go on the cab right now because my team is getting pulverized. Oh, do you see that guy? Put man in a BT. Yes, a hit. That. This isn't great. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna put myself in here. Get shot by a plane now. A pill store. Right, the SDRV is coming. The enemy hasn't got the cap yet. I can get easily murdered by a Puma and a BT-5. I can fight them one at a time, but not together. It's like well in. Right, I'm glad that's dead. That that was my worst fear, that thing. M36 fighting Quellian or what? No, what is that? A Ferdinand. We're ranging that. I can kill him in one shot if we hit him good. That won't do, but I think we're going to be okay because he can't push up anymore. I'm very surprised I never killed him. Just with overpressure alone. Is he staring at me now? Yeah, he is. That would be too, to be honest. That's the one. Yeah, that's the overpressure you do want. But 103 is having a field day over here as well. Is that... Did he get that heavy tank? Someone else has scouted here. Or was that Russian heavy I saw, right? That, that was pretty good going. No diggy holes though. GG. Nice. Now I still attest that the AVRE is probably one of the most fun tanks you can get in War Thunder. I don't think it's worth its hefty price tag. I hope the people that did want it got it at the 50% off that it was on the sale. Hey, that's the only time I would really invest in it. It's not a good grinder, but it is just a straight up fun meme time to go relax and delete things for sure. To me as well, like the groundbreaking thing, you know, scraping away the terrain, it takes too long, I think. If it was like three times more dirt that it shoveled in one pass, then it might be like a viable thing, but it takes too long. War Thunder is really fast paced right now. Like I said, light tanks and stuff just are so quick to get around the side of you that by the time you've dug a hole, your whole team gets enveloped. Oh, there's just no one left to shoot at. And I can see why they wanted to add it, but it doesn't really fit the gameplay. Hey, it would be better if it was, you know, a bit more viable to use this thing. Don't buy it for the digging. You won't get very much of it done. Buy it for the fact that it's got a big derpy cannon that deletes things. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you're a fan of the Centurion AVRE yourself, please leave the video a wee like. And tomorrow, I think we're going to go have a look at the Weasel. This one. This thing is a lot of fun. Super fast. Kind of like the opposite of the AVRE, actually. So make sure you subscribe to see that. A huge thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon as well. That's Milka the Tactical Broccoli, Matthew S, Jesse Mills, the Taco Guy, Toast McGee, Anderson, Wind, Brahma Nation, Sexy, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gifted Greed, Handsome Tortilla, Kin the Soul Lord, Kino Suba, Lord Draven, God, I really struggle with that Kino's name. I'm sorry, Kino. Ralph, Rise, Stoyan, Tectonic, The Fire Paper, Trash Panda, Vanny and Warpig, Zema, Yokbo, Chef, Jesse Bisma, Mortanen, J Tormey, Mr. Buzzwell, Shmoo, and Stuart Netherton. See, I said it right that time. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye bye. Also, thank you to all my patrons, not just the TLCs. Much love.